What's up guys, Chris Schroeder here. The video you guys are about to watch is a two hour marketing masterclass that goes over every facet of marketing that we use in phone flipping. So it's gonna go over reach outs, it's gonna go over Facebook ads, and it's gonna tap into Google ads and Google My Business a little bit. These are all important parts of the business and I'm giving you guys this class for free. This was a five day challenge class that we did a while back. Um, some things have changed since this video was uploaded and our processes have gotten even better. Um, but I wanna give you guys this class for free um, in hopes that one day I earn your business and you decide to work with me so that we can help you scale to $10,000 a month or more in profit. So with that being said, watch the video and uh, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you implement it. It's like, no man, that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta just do the basics and if you continue <laughs> doing the basics, you continue to win. You know, that that's the game there, right? It's like, if you just continue yep. doing, if you just continue doing the same stuff that, that, you know, brings action and brings people in, then you win. So let me go ahead and tag everybody in the Recelerator group, that way everybody can. I've done that, I've done that too. Hey, I'm struggling here. Uh, well, what have you checked on this, this, and it's basic stuff? Yeah, no, I haven't checked on that in a while. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's funny that all that even I will uh, will do that sometimes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, that's yeah. yeah. I'll track. I'll track that in the future and let you know when you ask a question. It's like, well, are you tracking it? No, not. <laughs> and I'm freaking out. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. If you're not tracking, it kind of kind of screws up the whole game. That's actually what we're going to start with here today. Actually. Um, Welcome, guys, uh, everybody on the live stream, everybody um, uh, from Slack, from on Zoom. I know we're going to have a couple more people hop on from Recelerator because those guys know that the basics and, and this stuff is where everything begins. Me and RJ were just talking about that. RJ is a, a very, very seasoned phone flipper um, from the OG <laughs> days of, of the me and the Aaron Gold scene and the David Wright right. days. So. <laughs> We were just talking about how how scaling is simply just doing the basics um, over and over and over and over and over and like just not stopping, right? Yep. So, and that's really what we're going to be diving into today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin my screen here and that way because, all right, no, let me make sure I'm good. I, everybody on the Facebook live stream, can you guys hear me okay? Uh, give me a one in the chat if you can hear me okay. I see a couple of you guys have joined. Um, this will be available for you guys for a week um, and today guys what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through um, five days so five days of just pure like just giving it all right everything that you guys learn in Recelerator everything that's in resell deck everything that's in everything we're just going to kind of show how it's done because there is like I don't really hold back any secrets like if somebody asks me a question on a Facebook group I usually just answer it with the answer. So like, I don't, I don't, I don't really gatekeep a whole lot of stuff. Um, let me make sure. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. Perfect. We got people joining. Fantastic. Okay. So we'll have a couple more people hopping on the zoom link here probably shortly. Okay. So let's rock and roll. Um, first thing that I want to go over today, guys, is, uh, so, I want, I want to get a breakdown. Let me go ahead and mute everybody. There we go. Okay. Um, first thing that I want to go over today is, is kind of what is going to be happening throughout the week, right? So this is day one. Day one is going to be all about marketing. It's going to be all about that stuff. It's going to be reach outs. It's going to be, um, it's going to be reach outs. It's going to be paid ads. It's going to be Facebook ads, Google ads, the whole thing. All right, I'm going to show you guys today. Today's probably going to be close to, if not a two-hour call. Um, it's going to be kind of a big one um, because it's so important to the basics of what you need to be doing consistently. Um, and a lot of people miss this, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So um, with that being said, the agenda for the week is uh, today is obviously phone flipping marketing, right? Day two is going to be how to flip game consoles. Uh, you're going to have Matt Shirley for that one. He's got a whole presentation built out for you guys. It's going to be insane. Day three is going to be offer making and appraisals. Offer making and appraisals is you're going to be learning what to offer, how much, and all of that. Okay? So you need to know that. The money is made when you buy, not when you sell it. As many times as people say, 
That's not how it works. That's how it works in real estate. So it works the same way here. Um, on Thursday, you guys are going to have negotiations with Aaron Goldstein. I don't know if you guys just saw Aaron's most recent post. He just made a crap load of money. Um, missed out on that one, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, and then on Friday, you guys are going to have me again. I'm going to be showing you guys how to sell things on eBay uh, to direct buyers and things like that. Um, so you guys can offload things quickly, make money faster, reinvest your profits and scale this bad boy. All right. So today, guys, the very first thing that I want to start with is tracking. Why do I want to start with tracking? Because it's the basic of it, basics of everything. Um, if we don't start with tracking and we don't know how to track stuff, we don't really know how to do anything. Right. Um, in the past, what I've noticed is a lot of, uh, you know, clients are, or students came to me and they were like, Chris, I don't know what's going on. Something must be broken. I'm like, well, you know, what's your, what's your lead to meetup ratio? What's your negotiation closing rate? And they were like, oh, I don't know. Like, well, that, that's a big problem. Uh, me and I don't know where I think RJ might have, me and RJ went back and forth on this a lot, <laughs> but um, yeah. So let's jump into that. The first thing that I'm going to do today, guys, is, uh, is this is going to, might be a little reminder for, the people in, in Recelerator, um, and I hope it is, because um, a lot of the times what we don't realize is that we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught, okay? So we always think that we need to be finding the newest, greatest thing when the, the boring, safe, and scalable thing is actually staring us in the face, almost always, all right? So, and this is a very hard lesson for me to learn, just so you guys are aware. I, I suffer from... Uh, shiny object syndrome really bad. So the first thing that I want to go over today, guys, is I'm going to show you guys um, the numbers that you need to be tracking on reach outs and on closing and on paid ads. That way you guys can understand how to use those numbers to benefit you and your business. All right. So let me share my screen here. Okay. So you guys are all going to get a copy of this sheet. This sheet is essentially uh, the thing that that runs your business for the most part. Um, this is the the rescale sheet, and uh, basically what it does is it shows you uh, how much you're making, um, where you're you're kind of falling short, and things like that. Okay, so um, we have arbitrary numbers in this one. This is a example month. All right, so I want to go over them real quick for you guys, and you guys are going to get a copy of this so you can do your own thing. So the first thing that we're going to be starting with today, guys, is reach out. Reach outs are incredibly important, um, especially in the beginning, I've noticed. I actually never started with reach outs, so it actually took me a little while to, I had to kind of like backtrack a little bit here. Um, but reach outs are important, and I eventually learned how to do them, thanks to Matt Shirley and Alex Ramosi and people like that. Um, so I want to go over this because I think these are important. So as you guys can see here, you can track your total number of reach outs inside of uh right here so where it says reach outs you track how many you do let's say you did 20 reach outs like just straight cold dm right you would mark down 20 and then you would write down how many closes you had or type in how many closes you had what does that mean so the closes are you actually met up with the person and then you would track how many how much sales and profit on whatever day it actually sold okay so this is how this works. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty, pretty simple. So let's say you did 232 reach outs and you closed three, okay, which is actually pretty normal for reach outs, especially on phones. Um, your closing rate is not going to be super high on phones, especially on reach outs, because people already kind of know what they want. And, you know, there's not a whole lot of room for negotiation. However, it's really good to know that, okay, for every 100 people I reach out to, I get one phone. That's good. I mean, you can, you know, do many, right? And then uh, right here, I have the profit per reach out. This is really important, especially for me. I really like to know this number simply because it allows me to be like, oh, wow. So every person I hit up, I'm making 41 cents. That's pretty good to know for me. Like that gives me a little bit more motivation to do it, right? Um, so these are, there, there's not a whole lot to track on reach outs, okay? So, and I know we're starting off all boring, 
but I'm going to give this to you guys straight, <laughs> right? So, um, so over here uh, on ads, so I'm going to be showing you guys Facebook uh, mostly, and then we'll, we'll dive into Google a little bit later in, uh, in this call. Um, but there's a couple of things you want to track when it comes to ads. You want to track your lead to close ratio, your lead to meetup ratio. So lead to close is you were talking to them and you closed them. And that, that number is, let's say, 19%. 19% is high. Usually, you're going to be around 10%, okay? Lead to meetup ratio, 20%. That's pretty terrible, actually. So let's say you closed them, but you didn't meet up with them, right? This means you're meeting up with like one out of five people that you close over Messenger, okay? So, and I wanted to use 20% because um, I wanted to give you guys, you know, just like a real low baseline to aim for. <laughs> um, so lead to meetup, 20%. You want it to be around 75% or above. If you're not 75% or above, you're usually having issues. And then add add cost to meetup percentage or you know number. So I like I like to put it in a dollar amount. So it costs me $25.56 to meet up with a customer. That's really freaking good, right? Who here would pay $25? to make 100 or to make 80? Let me know in the comments, because I, I sure as hell would. The next thing I want to talk about is the cost per lead. This is obviously how many leads you get divided by, or uh, how much you spend divided by how many leads you got. Your return on ad spend, 216%, it's a little low. That's probably because the lead to meetup ratio is low. Um, you want it to be around three to 500%. And then the profit per lead is very similar to the profit per reach out. So profit per lead is $10.93. So then as you can see here, it tracks your total ad spend, tracks your total generated profit, total revenue. And then you also want to track your follow-ups as well. And then over here, it tracks all of your inventory as well, as you guys can see here. So it shows you where most of your leads are coming from, uh, what device you're buying the most of, and then obviously you would put in the cost, sold, fees, shipping, and things like that. So I'm going to give you guys access to this sheet, and um, let me go ahead and do that. Copy this link, send it over in. For those of you Recelerator students that don't have it, which you all should, hold on, let me stop sharing my screen here real quick. Okay, so now that we've pretty much gone over tracking, um, and I know it was quick, but I got a lot to go through today and I want you guys to win. So, Marco says pumped. Awesome, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and drop this so where you guys can all make a copy and you're not editing my, this one. Okay, so I dropped it in the chat for you guys. Um, Facebook, I'm gonna drop it in the chat for you guys as well. Um, let me go ahead and do that. That way you all have it for the rest of the week. All right, now I want to highlight some goals for this week. Um, <laughs> Ozzy's in the Facebook group. Ozzy, you can join the Zoom, bro. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're not in the Zoom. All right. Um, oop, hold on. I got to edit that. All right. So I dropped the sheet in there for you guys. Make sure to make a copy. Um, you should just be able to click on it, sign in your Google account, and it'll end up in your Google Drive. If you don't have Google Drive, Probably need to. That's what I use for pretty much everything. Okay, so we went over a little bit of the tracking, a little bit of the numbers. Um, now I want to go into the the basics. I want to start off with reach outs, and I, I would like you guys to do this with me, okay? Um, who's down to do these re this reach out thing with me uh, while I'm doing it? I'm going to show you guys how to rapid fire do reach outs insanely fast, and then I'm going to show you guys software that makes it a little bit easier um so let's uh who's ready let me know in the chat let's do it fantastic okay cool let's rock and roll all right so let me go to facebook marketplace and i'm going to show you guys how to do this with uh without any um any software or anything first and then we'll we'll jump into to resell deck and resell hawk and everything at the end. All right. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in a lo good location. You want to make sure your location is like set, right? And for today, just for the simplicity of it, 
we're going to do phones, specifically iPhones and, um, and Samsungs, okay, just to keep things simple, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want you guys to do to make this incredibly easy for you guys is I want you when, are you, when you go to Marketplace, you can do this on your phone, you can do this on a computer. Um, I'm going to do it on the computer just, you know, for everybody to see easily. Um, I want you to go find this little cog wheel in Marketplace, okay? And then I want you to go down to set a custom buyer message here. So, and whenever you set the custom buyer message, here's the message that I want you to put in there. And this, this is going to vary between the phone flipping gurus that you guys listen to, okay? Some people have different things. Matt has a different process to this than I do. This is what works for me, and it, and it works pretty well, actually. Um, I'm very direct and upfront about the way that I do things with my customers. Um, I don't like to hide anything from them. So my message is simply, hey, I run a company that buys used and damaged phones, MacBooks, smartwatches, cameras, game consoles, VR, and more. If I was to pay cash today, would you be willing to go any lower on price? It is a direct message that is just like, hey, I can buy it today. Can you know, will you go any lower on price? Right. So I'm going to drop this message in the chat for everybody. And you guys might see a little bit of a difference uh, tomorrow with Matt and the way he does it. And that's OK, because he does it for game consoles. Right. So let me uh, let me drop this in the Slack channel and then Facebook. That way you guys can copy it and then we're all going to do it together. So let me go back here. And I, I'm getting blown up with messages from people. Uh, Recelerator, and I'm going to drop this in the chat for you guys here. All right, paste, boom. All right, so copy that, go put it into Facebook Marketplace, and um, let's let's rock and roll. Let's go back to Marketplace. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to type in iPhones, right? We're going to look at my area. All right, so right off the bat, man, wow, okay. We got an Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max, one terabyte gold unlocked. So I'm literally just going to click on it. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click send. And then I'm going to go to another one that I think is going to be good. This one looks like a scam phone. Uh, oh, this must be an iPhone buyer. Yeah. This, yeah. Okay. Next one, we're going to go, look at this, tw iPhone 12. Perfect. And then we're literally just going to press send. And then we're going to go to another one. We're going to go iPhone 15 Pro Max. You want to make sure they're not scam phones. You want to look at the description a little bit. Uh, this one doesn't have one. That's okay. Let's do the day ago send. And the reason I'm not really looking too far into this is because I don't want to think too much. Okay. And then the reason I don't want to think too much is because whenever I start thinking, when it comes to making an offer, I usually mess up. And the reason for that is because um, oh, this one's, uh, can't, they can't unlock it. So this one... Perfect. Send. Because whenever you think too much, you usually overanalyze things and it's an analysis paralysis and it sucks. And uh, that's just something I found over time. <laughs> All right. So we're just going through and we're sending. Is anybody else sending with me? Let's see here. Let's find another one. Oh, iPhone XS Max. I still buy those, by the way. Send. Go to the next one, iPhone 15 Pro Max unlocked. Send. Next. What is this? iPhone 11. They got it for 200. It's been listed for a week. Don't read it too much into it. Send. I'm going to go to the next one, 11 Pro. Send. And guys, everything I'm showing you guys right now. This is the basics. This is the most basic stuff right here. Look at this one. This one has an eco ATM tag on it. Send. <laughs> Oop, got out of marketplace on accident. Let me go back, search some iPhones again. And by the way, I can't see any of y'all's messages at the moment. And I got our, I already got people messaging me back. I'm gonna get to them after I do the 20. Um, the reason I do that is because I like to stay doing one thing at one time. Because if I don't, I get too distracted, and then I don't get in all the offers whenever I need to. 
12 Pro Max, then two iPhones. These are remote management. I'm not going to buy those. iPhone 11, send. So I usually send a message, and then after, I'll go back in and kind of look more into the descriptions. Send. XS Max. Still, oh, no, that's a, that's a buyer. 12 Pro Max. I still love 12 Pro Max. <laughs> All right. I think I've hit about 20 now. Let me go check. All right. So in, what was it, five minutes, I hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Oh, nope, I'm at 16. I got four more to go. Let me keep going. 13 Pro Max unlocked. Send. That one might have been a company, but oh well. I might be able to connect with them. Yeah, that's a cell phone store. That's 18. Nineteen. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah. Looks like a good deal. Send. Okay, that's twenty. All right. Let's go and look at the messages now. See how many we got almost instantaneously. All right, did anybody do this with me? Let me know in the in the chat. Is anybody still doing it? Are you posting the comment statement here? Yeah, I thought I did actually. Did it not post? There you go, uh, Heman. I don't know why it didn't post. It's weird. In the Zoom chat anyway. All right, let's see here. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes and uh, let you guys make your offers. And uh, if anybody has any questions while everybody's out there shooting out this message, let me know. You can unmute yourself on Zoom. You can drop a comment in the Facebook group. Um, and, you know, the reason I want to highlight this message is I learned this whenever I was actually reaching out to pawn shops. So, like, I was literally going into the pawn shops. And uh, at first, I was kind of beating around the bush, you know, with, with uh, the people inside and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just being weird, actually. And um, over time, what I decided to do was go in and I was just simply like, hey, guys, I buy and resell phones and electronics and, you know, all this and that. And they were like, oh, well, let me show you what we got. And I was like, holy crap, that worked. Like, I just told them what I was there for. And they were like, yeah, sure. Let, let's go see what we have in the back. Or, hey, I got this thing over here that, that we you might like, right? Um, and then, like, once I did that, I was like, you know what? I could probably apply this to reach outs too. And sure enough, I did. And people were like, yeah, I'll go down on price a little bit. And boom, that's how it worked out. Um, when you're very upfront with people, people I ten tend to see respected a lot more. A good example of this is I get a lot of DMs a day, um, and every one of them that isn't upfront, I don't even answer at all. Like, there's no point because I can tell they're already beating around the bush. I had a guy message me the other day who was, uh, you know, just like um, asking all these questions in the beginning, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. Okay, never mind. I'm done. You know, and that's how it worked. And because he wasn't upfront with me, so I didn't give him any more time because, you know, time is valuable, right? All right, so I'm getting some messages back. Um, how's everybody doing on sending out the messages right now? Kevin said he was at 10. How many are you at now, Kevin? Take a swig of water here, real quick. Humans at five. Fantastic. All right, so 
I want to go back in here. I'm going to go into the DMs. I think I got like five or six messages, maybe a little bit less. We go back in. Go to Marketplace here. Okay, so, oh yeah, I got a, I got a couple here. All right. All right, so one way that I look to look at reach outs is as planting a seed, okay? So I like to plant seeds. It's very similar to paid ads in this way when you're following up. So I send the message to this guy here, and he said, hello, no, the lowest I will go is 225. I have multiple offers. Okay, let me look at some details on this. Once again, guys, I didn't look at most of the details when I was rapid firing this whole thing, right? So this one is an iPhone 12 Pro. Okay, cool. Blue, no problem. Got it. Slight back cracks. It's got a nice little video here for me. That's fantastic. So I'm going to go into a little bit more of the details here. He already dropped the price by $20 <laughs> after saying he wouldn't go any lower. So let's take a look. All right. So, all right. Perfect. So it's. Uh, I'm assuming it might be unlocked, maybe. Let me take a look. Let me let me ask him a little bit. So since I reached out to him, I'm not using the bullet negotiation here, right? Because um, I need a little bit more information about the phone to see if I can actually go up a little bit. I haven't even made an offer yet, okay? So, but I'm only going to ask one question then make an offer. So he said, hello, no, the lowest I will go is 225. I have multiple offers. Is it unlocked? Didn't see that in the description. The reason I said that, guys, the reason I said I didn't see it in the description is because sometimes people will literally just click yes right here, and they don't even know what unlocked means. There's a reason why I ask it again. It's simply because I want to clarify. All right? So with that being said, this is an iPhone 12 Pro. I'm going to go to eBay real quick because that is where I would sell this cracked back one. So uh, ebay.com, and we're going to go iPhone 12 Pro, cracked back, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and type it in as unlocked. All right, we're going to go make sure we get the right 12 Pro. Scroll down, we're going to go sold. All right. Unlock, crack back. So this one is only a crack back. Unlocked, back crack, clean IMEI works, 309. This one has all sorts of issues with it. So does that one. Crack back, 81%. All right, so I'm assuming, well, this one's LCD. Oh, here we go. Crack back, heavy scratches, 284. 255. 284 again. Okay, so I got two of them that are around 284 with a cracked back, sold 13 days ago. It's not too bad. All right, so let me head back on over to this message. Let's negotiate a little bit. Let me find that guy because I got now I got multiple messages happening all at once. Okay, he hasn't uh, messaged me back yet, so that's fine. So I'm going to keep that in my head. I'm going to keep that open. All right. Next one I'm going to go back to. See how many messages I'm getting back almost like like insanely fast, guys? Like, look at this guy. This guy's right here. I was going to go lower anyway, like $60 for the iPhone and $15 for gas because I really need it. Look at that. Guys, like that, that's wild. He He literally just lowered it by $60. Or he, uh, not $60, but he's lowering it to $60. So this is an iPhone XS Max that he has listed for $110. And there's no details on it at all. Uh, 64 gig. Oh, let's see here. There was a there was a good picture. He says, okay, so it's unlocked. iPhone XS Max unlocked. I can't see any issues with it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna message him a little bit though and make sure there's no issues with it. All 
right. And we got another guy here, iPhone 14 at 480. He said three. So 400, he said 380. Okay. I mean, look at this, guys. Like, these people are just straight up, like, lowering the price, like, for me immediately. Like, this one from 200 to 150. See how these guys are just, like, as soon as they see this message, they just hit it. And they're like, yeah, I'll sell it for less. <laughs> so that tells me almost right away that, um, that you know, oh, and this guy's over here upselling me. Look at this. So he sent me this, whatever this is. This is a, oh, an S10 Plus. That's an older phone. Um, let's see if we can close one here real quick while I... Let's see here. Sure, what's your best offer for everything must pick up in Woodlands? Well, I'm not going to do that. It's too far away from me. What's your offer? I think it's pretty low already. iPhone 11 Red. Let's see a little bit more details on this one. Is anybody else getting a whole, like, uh, I'm not sending out because I'm currently negotiating all day. Fully booked. Look at that, Wesley. Heck yeah, dude. Love that. All right, anybody else getting messages in as they're doing this? Let me know in the chat. All right, so this one, iPhone 11, literally no details on it. I'm gonna message them happen to know if it's, if it's unlocked. Okay. And we're just going to keep going through these a little bit. <clears throat> I'm waiting on one of these guys to respond that I've already asked if it's unlocked for. So can anybody see that by sending out these 20 messages in, let's say, the morning, how you can have multiple messages happening uh, very quickly, even the same day? Um, you can start a whole lot of conversations very, very quickly um, to make things happen. And most of these guys, look, this guy dropped the price by $30, um, which every time somebody is, is willing to drop the price themselves, they're, they're very easy to negotiate with. Now, are you going to get all of them? No, you're not. And that's okay. All right. All work good. What is this? That's uh, a little much for that one. All right, so that's that's actually a good thing to ask here. Um, what was this? So this one was an I. I think he sent me a different phone. Let's take a look. iPhone. This is an iPhone 11. Yeah. iPhone 11. Let's see, I don't know if it's unlocked or locked. Okay, so the the original iPhone 11 was 150, um, and then and then she's and then she basically upsold herself on this one. So let me open the message here again. All work good. Okay, and then 120 for. Okay, now I understand. All right. Would you be willing to do 110? I'm gonna do 110 because I can make a profit that way. Let me double check. <laughs> just, just quickly on the iPhone 11 unlocked. iPhone 11 unlocked. Use 64 gig. Yeah, even I sometimes guys mess up on appraisals because I quit. I you know jump into it too quickly. All right, so looks like we can do iPhone 11 factory unlocked 213 190. 198. Okay. Yeah, I can make money. Okay. So um, we go back here. And let me go to message her again. Let me do is the iPhone 11 unlocked? Ryan said the lowest he'll go is 150. That's an iPhone 11. Okay.
<laughs> just, I'll do one ten cat, right? And then, uh, so you just make your offers, right? You just go out, you make your offers, and that's how it works. Uh, let me see some of these. How do you spot scam phones? So a lot of the times when you're going back and looking at them after DMing all these people really quickly, um, it's it's important to go back and read the description um, simply just to and and look at the photos. That's what I'm doing right now. I, basically, I I took all of the thinking out of the making the offer because most people will not make the offer like they won't message that's what most people get in their head with is like they're scared to send out the messages okay so the reason i just go straight for it is because i don't really want to think about you know having to to go into every listing to look and to do these things that and this is a personal preference by the way some people are cool with you know just looking at the listing but i've found that if i can get my 20 then i'm good right? Um, then I got enough people to talk to and enough people. Now I'm just kind of basically thrown into the negotiation, right? And I've always been the, you know, so. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's see, let's pop back in here. And I don't want to spend too much time on this simply because um, I want to get to paid ads and everything. Like I said, this class is going to be longer, but I wanted to show you guys how to get a lot of leads very quickly every day. All right. And a lot of a lot of conversations. All right, so I can do 110 cash. No, sorry, no problem. Got any other electronics you may want to sell? All right, and one other thing that I really like to do, guys, is whenever I can't close a deal, I like to go into their profile and I like to see what else they're selling. So if you can buy more than just phones, then you can make a lot of money. So as you guys can see here, he's not selling anything other than a phone. And that's cool. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, we're going to go in here to Joni. Uh, oh, well, she's got this one. So she already sent me that. Where's the other one? So we got Javier here. So Javier's got other stuff here. I'm not going to do anything with that. That's okay. Buy for cheap. Just the iPhone XS Max, which I think I might be able to close. All right, just got to just got to wait for him to respond. But you guys can see how many how many um you know, stuff I got okay in in conversation with really quickly. iPhone is Cricket and the Samsung S10 Plus is unlocked. Okay. Um let's do I'm just going to throw her an offer for both. Would you do 150 for both? <laughs> and shoot your shot, right? <laughs> That's what reach outs are all about. People are going to hate you no matter what. So might as well just get it done. Um, with that being said, um, that is how I throw myself into it, guys. Um, does anybody have any questions about this? Let me see here. I've got some questions. Uh, Wesley in the, in the chat there. I want, I want to go over some questions really quick over this before we go into paid ads um, because I want to, you know, I want to answer any questions. But I just want to be very clear. This is my particular way of doing this. Um, I recommend it because it starts conversations very, very quickly. It saves me a lot of time when it comes to searching around on Marketplace for the best deal ever um, because we're never going to find that, right? We have to create the deal that we want most of the time, all right? So, um, uh, Kevin says, goes a lot faster if you send them out without responding. The other way is straight. Dude. So back in the, you know, whenever I started doing reach outs, um, probably two years ago now, when Matt joined joined the team and everything, um, I would I would send out, you know, a couple at a time, maybe five, somebody would respond. I would stop what I was doing and I would go respond to that person, start negotiating, and I wouldn't get the numbers that I needed to. So over time, I just found a better way of doing it for myself. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to rapid fire this stuff really, really fast. And that way I get that part done. Like that piece I can check off on my list, right? 20 reach outs, done. Okay. And then I can go to my sheet that I gave you guys and I can put it in. All right. And uh, this is just the way that I do it. Okay. So, um, all right. Uh, everybody on Slack. 
or not Slack, Zoom. If you guys have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself. I'll answer questions about this method for about five minutes. And I got more messages coming in now. So. <laughs> All right, we don't have it. And if everything's clear, just give me a one in the chat. Ken has a question in the group. Ken, you're in the Recelerator, dude. Join the join the Zoom. <laughs> um, do you personally do reach outs on phones a lot and then sell them on eBay? Personally, I don't do a lot of reach outs. Um, I, I started doing reach outs because uh, I was made aware by Alex Ramosi and um, others that it was it was important to do cold cold outreach. I get enough leads that you know it's not necessary. Um, but if you're not getting enough leads, it is necessary, right? Um, <clears throat> but this is the way that I do it, and I like to do this with pawn shop. It's the same thing. You can literally DM this message to pawn shops. Let me. All right, here's a very ninja tip. Okay, so if you guys go here, go to marketplace, and you type in pawn shop. And I should probably put this in pawn shop profits now that I think about it. So um, if you guys go here, you'll find pawn shops. Okay. Now, um, for example, boom, pawn shops, Houston. If you go to their profile, you can start going down the list of the things that they have. And then you can send the exact same message over and over and over and over again. If you see phones on there, fantastic. If you see, PS4s or PS5s or whatever else on there, you can do the exact same thing, okay? And look, there's all this gold and shoes and all kinds of stuff. Um, but sometimes they'll have phones and stuff too, but not a lot, but mostly they have uh, other, other items. Okay, let's jump into paid ads. Was that, uh, was that helpful to everybody to see kind of how that works? Kevin says he's about to hit 10K in sales, by the way. <laughs> Kevin, was that a, wasn't like 5,000 of that a luxury watch? Isn't that, isn't that kind of cheating, brother? <laughs> yeah, it, it is. So what ended, up, what ended up happening is that that Palm 1314 I showed you. Um, yeah. So I bought one when I drove all the way out there uh, to, um, to LA. And then when I, when I was listing it, I was using a, a listing on eBay. I ended up finding another PAM 1314. So the first one I bought for 4,600 and the second one I ended up buying for four grand. So I already got paid. I already got a wire transfer uh, today. Well, it was sent yesterday, got paid today. So I got 4,400 off of that one. So I made 400 and then I got paid on the auction house 5,500 on the other one. So I made um, nine 900 off of that one. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna dump all that money into uh, the ads. That way I can scale yeah, the electronics more because that, that yeah. stuff moves way faster than the than the watches. And then uh, I did reach outs for a motorcycle, and uh, I ended up I'm gonna drive out to San Diego and pick up a a, a BMW <laughs> motorcycle today. So I'll show you, bro. I'll, I'll send you. A man can right flip there. everything. He's gonna yeah, have to. Well, you have to, man. Just doing a class on watches and everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, you have to. Uh. Jacob has a really good question. Are pawn shops easier to close deals compared to reaching out to individuals on marketplace? Um, so yes and no, right? So pawn shops have employees, right? And in, inside of those, in, with those employees, they have a certain quota that they usually have to reach every month. Um, so if you go in like towards the end of the month, a lot of the times you can make some sweet deals. Um, you can make some some really sweet deals because they need to hit their quota for the month. Uh, but like, you know, earlier in the month, not so much, right? Uh, you got to fight with them a little bit. You, but with pawn shops, you do, you do need to go in and build rapport. It does help if you message them first or call them first and ask if they have anything. That way you're not just, you know, wasting your time driving around town all day to get nothing, right? Um, it's kind of like with me and my scheduled meetup model. Like I don't drive to people. Like that just doesn't, it's not me. Um, if they want cash, they can come to me, right? Um, so with that being said, that was a good question though, Jake. Love that question. Uh, with that being said, let's move on to paid ads, all right? So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a paid ad campaign. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to be wrapping all this together as well uh, with resale back uh, to make things easier. 
All right, so um, let's go ahead and share my screen. Jump in the Facebook Ads Manager. All right, so if you don't know how to access Facebook Ads Manager, so you need to go to www.facebook.com slash ads manager. All right, and we're going to pop into an ad account here. All right, so we're going to start an ad campaign uh, right now um, to show you guys how to do it, how I do it, and a uh, way you can start getting some inbound leads. Okay, so just before everything, make sure you have a Facebook page. If you don't know how to set up a Facebook page, Google how to set up a Facebook page. Um, it'll, it'll show you how to do that. Um, what I'm going to show you guys how to do today is to actually start the ad campaign. Okay. So the way that you're going to do that is you're going to go to facebook.com slash ads manager. And if you have never done this before, it is going to prompt you to add a payment uh, method. It's going to be your name up top here. Okay. So see how mine says Christopher Allen Schroeder. This is my personal ad account. This is what you want to start with. All right. Next thing we're going to do is once you have added your payment information, um, you can add your payment information also by going to billing and payments. All right. So once you do that, then you can run some ads. Okay. So make sure you add a payment method. Otherwise, it won't let you do anything. Go back over here. Campaigns. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click the green button that says create. Once we've done that, we're going to go over here to engagement. We are not going to click leads. If you click leads, you will not get leads. Just remember that. Like that's an easy way to remember it. If you click leads, you will not get leads. <laughs> it's the opposite. So you, what you want to click is engagement. And then you do not want to use the recommended settings. You want to do a manual engagement campaign. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want your ad spend to be spread out over all of the ads you're going to launch. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on advantage campaign budget. We're going to change it from $20 to $5. There we go. And then you're going to click next. All right. And then you're going to choose your Facebook page, which it should automatically show up. Um, if not, then uh, make sure you connect it, but it should connect automatically. We're going to turn off WhatsApp because we don't need WhatsApp. All right. And then uh, we're going to keep on going down, 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 choose location. I'm going to get rid of United States. So big thing here, if you add your location here, so for example, I'm in League City. If you add, so sometimes United States will stay, stay there. I recommend removing it just in case, because if you don't, what it can do is it'll target the entire United States. Um, and then you're going to be trying to get people to ship phones to you, and it's it's kind of a headache. <laughs> um, so that's the next thing. You want to just simply choose your location. Okay, For the first ad campaign, you don't really want to do any massive targeting or anything like that, because your, your ad account needs data. Okay, The more data that you feed, the campaigns and the ad account, the better it will do for you later on. All right. All right. Then we're going to click next. All right. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add photos. We want to turn off multi advertiser ads here. And what we want to do is we want it to be single image or video. And then we're going to add media. So we're going to add some photos. If you guys need some photos, you guys can check out the uh, the free phone flipping group, uh, Reselling Electronics for Profit. I got tons of them in there. All right, then we're going to click some ad photos here. And we're just going to click done all the way through. And then we're going to grab paid ads template. So let me do that. Do copy. Head back over to ads manager. Going to add the primary text in. All right, and so you can add your city in here. So I'm going to do League City. And 
and I'm going to edit it a little bit to where I can actually see everything in the first. There we go. Sometimes you have to edit it a little bit just to make sure that it's working good. All right, and I'm going to drop that for you guys uh, in Slack or in everywhere. <laughs> Let me head on back over to the live stream real quick. Drop that for you guys. Go. All right. Okay. So Facebook's going to be the option to use their AI tool. You don't need to. This thing's pretty proven at this point. The um, next thing you're going to want to do is you want to, going to want to put in a headline, okay? So the headline can be pretty much anything. It can be sell a device. Uh, what a lot of people like to put nowadays and what I like to put is sell an iPhone 11 or X. I like to do iPhone X. I still buy iPhone X. All right, and then what I also like to do is I like to add one of these little emojis that I already have up here into the headline to make it look a little fancier. Okay. All right. So that's what the ad looks like. And then we want to go down here and we want to go to start conversations. And then we want to edit it. So there's going to be a pre-templated um, message here for you. Now, I've changed my thing up a little bit. If you guys have watched my YouTube videos, I now like to do something that I like to call the upsell sandwich. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> so, in the beginning, with the very first message, whenever they click you know, the ad, what I like to do now is like, hey, name, we buy used and damaged iPhones, Samsungs, MacBooks, smart watches, cameras, VR, and more. And I like to put that at the very front of the message. And you know what that does? Can, can, anybody, can anybody tell me what that does whenever somebody messages me? Anybody at all? You can unmute yourself. Because I know some of you guys are muted. Probably don't know that. It gives you the opportunity to purchase other items and maybe right. generate more leads. Exactly. It gives you the opportunity to buy more items almost immediately. I can't tell you guys how many times somebody's been like, hey, I got an iPhone 12 that I want to sell, but I also have this iPad. You want that too? And they, it just upsells for me, right? It's great. So the next thing you want to do, though, is uh, down here uh, where it says sell my phone, you want to put an automated response. So my automated response is what device do you have? Any issues with it? Now, I do like to ask two questions in the very beginning because I can make an offer faster, okay? That's just, once again, personal preference. Um, sell my MacBook or laptop, that's what I like to do. I, like, I, love Mac I love me some MacBooks and then sell a game console. If you wanna put something else, you can do so. But the message is almost always the same. It's what device do you have and what's wrong with it, or what, any issues with it, okay? Now, once that's done, this is where a lot of people stop. Okay, a lot of people just simply stop right here and they launch their campaign. That is the wrong thing to do. You want to do something called a split test. The, and the reason we want to do a split test is simply because it is massively important. All right. And I'm going to give you guys a document today that's going to lay this out um, to the point where it's going to make it super, super understandable. Uh, let me find that document. Actually, I sent it to somebody earlier. I think I sent it to Wesley later, a couple of days ago. So I'm going to grab it. Yeah, here it is. So we're going to set up this ad campaign, and then I'm going to show you guys that document because I'm also going to show you guys how to optimize your Facebook ads on this call. All right? So once you have the first ad created, the second thing you want to do is you want to click here, the three little dots, and quickly duplicate. All right? Once you've quickly duplicated, there's only one thing you need to do. You need to go to this little trash can, click it, and add a different photo. And the reason we do this is because the photo is the most important part of the ad. It's the first thing that people see. So it should tell people exactly what we do immediately. 
And then what we want to do is we want to copy it again. And we want to come out with a total of five ads. It's important that you have five ads or three to five anyway. I recommend five. Because over the next seven days, you'll be able to um, determine which ad is, is working and which ad isn't. All right, and we're going to duplicate it again. Click the trash can, add media. Are you guys liking this so far, like on Facebook and everything? Let me know, guys. Let me use this one. I always like this one. Also, Recelerator students, is this, uh, this is a good refresher? Let me know. All right, so now we have five total ads that we've duplicated. We've done what we need to do. Here's the fifth one. Done, done. All right, there we go. So we have a total of five ads now. All right, so we're going to click this big X up here now. We're then going to select all of these, and we're going to click Edit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to launch all the campaigns, or launch the campaign, not all of them. Now, a common question that I get on YouTube and everything a lot is, Chris, you launched five different ads. Does that, does that mean that you're spending $5 per ad that you launched? No, it does not. The reason for that is because we set up the budget at the campaign level. Okay, so what's happening is we put that $5 there and basically told Facebook, hey, I want you to spread out this ad spend across all of these five ads. So basically what's happening, just to put it in the simplest terms possible, it is spending $1 per ad per day. Does that make sense? Is that clear to everybody? Let me know. <laughs> I want to make sure I got that, the clarity part across that. All right, cool. All right, awesome. So now that that's done, that's how you launch the ad. Now, the next question is going to be, how do you optimize the ad? So I have created a handy-dandy document for you guys um, that I'm going to walk you guys through here and uh, show you guys how to do it and then put the document into your hand so that you can understand it a little bit better. All right, and I'm going to maximize this a little bit so that I can show you guys. Mozzie, uh, I'll Ozzy says it was super hard in the beginning and you get better as you go and it gets easier because you did the work. 100%, dude. 100%. All right, where did Zoom go? There we go. All right, let me pull up this document for you guys. So I created a pretty fancy document um, because I want you guys to understand this. So we launched the ad. All right, so a lot of people, even a lot of advertisers, do not understand how ads work, okay? Like, and I'm talking like agency level advertisers still don't understand how they work, okay? So most people think that you're paying for the perfect leads with ads every single time. Sorry to disappoint you. When you pay for ads, you're simply paying for eyeballs, okay? Facebook, Instagram, and the rest, they allow clicks on your ads, but that does not always mean, um, you know, conversations, uh, Brian says, should I be copying and pasting what you're dropping in here into, in a notepad? So, Brian, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to copy and paste that uh, even after the call. Everything will be in the comments for you. So our goal is to start conversations, right? But I, I want to show you guys exactly how an ad works. All right. So here's how an ad actually works. The very so I got it labeled one, two, three, and four. Okay. So the first thing that people see is the photo. The photo should translate everything that you're trying to do with your ad immediately, okay? So it literally says, I pay cash for electronics or I pay cash for phones. Um, then two is the, uh, the headline, which can say chat and messenger, iPhone 11 and newer, whatever you want it to say. But it's gonna, the click button is gonna be like get offer or something similar. The third thing that people see is the very tiny words on top of the ad, okay? And then the fourth thing that people see is the see more button, okay? It's important to know that. That means your photo is the most important part of the ad, all right? Now, 
you want to launch multiple campaigns, okay, with multiple photos. So ideally, you want to start off with about 20 different photos. Um, if you can't do that, if you can't spend $20 a day, you can start off with five, all right? But ideally, you want 20 photos at $20, okay? That's ideally what you want. Uh, if you can't do that, you can go lower, and that's okay. Um, it may cost up to twenty dollars a day. So if you know if you can't spend one forty the first week, totally fine. You can, once again, you can just lower the ads in there. Um, not every person is going to reply to the ads. It, this is very important to know because, as I've already said, the photo is the most prominent part of the ads. Below are some examples of resale deck, which we'll be getting into here in a bit, uh, where you can easily launch four campaigns with five ads, totaling out to twenty ads like immediately, which I'll walk you guys through here shortly. So once you optimize your ads, it's going to look a little bit like this. So you're going to you see these five ads here that are still turned on and the rest of them are turned off, right? It's because these got messages and the rest of these didn't, okay? So you want your ads to run for a total of seven days, at least one week, okay? So you will have difficulty in the beginning probably turning them off, okay, or keeping them on in a sense uh, because you're going to look at your ads a day after you launch them and you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, nothing's happening. My life is over, you know. I'm never going to financially recover from this even though it's like $5, right? The, legit, that's how some people <laughs> message me. <laughs> like, Chris, it's been $5. That, 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 the other day, remember? Remember yeah, you were hitting me up and you were like, that. I remember yeah. you hit me up and you were like, Chris, <laughs> I'm not getting any messages. And I'm like, well, when did you launch your ad? Yesterday? Oh, dude, you got to wait like a week. <laughs> like Facebook. So basically what's happening, guys, is Facebook and Instagram have to test the photos, the ad copy, and the headlines in the market to figure out exactly what the market wants. All right. We do not determine anything. The market determines everything. All right. So during this time, I recommend just not even logging into Ads Manager. The goal it, it, for the first week is simply just to gather data. The next thing that you want to do is you want to turn off the underperforming ads, the ads that brought in literally zero leads. Okay, so after the first seven days, um, you're going to be optimizing your ads, and you're simply just going to turn them off. Uh, I'm going to blow this up here. So as you guys can see, zero messages, zero messages, zero messages. Obviously, turn those off. Okay. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to optimize based on placements of your ads, okay? Now, how many of you guys knew that whenever you launch Facebook ads campaigns, Facebook puts your ads on Facebook Reels, ads on Reels, Facebook Stories, Facebook Feed on a desktop, meaning a computer, on the mobile app, on Facebook Marketplace, the desktop app, Facebook feed on mobile, Facebook search, desktop and mobile, Instagram feed, Instagram explorer, stories, and messenger stories. How many of you knew that's where all of your ads got placed immediately? Probably not a lot of you, right? So I want to go over that. It's a lot of places that it gets launched. So basically, Facebook is shotgunning your ad all over their platform to see where people are going to start messaging you from. All right. So what you're going to want to do, and I actually have a fancy video here to show you guys how to do it. So you want to go to placements. All right. So let me blow this up a little bit. If I can. I can't. Okay. You guys can view it in this. Uh, but placements, just to go to ads manager here, is over here. So you want to go to breakdown and you want to go to placements. And then this will actually show you where literally all of your leads are coming from. So Super useful, by the way, because once you know how to use that, you can turn off the placements where you no longer uh, are getting leads from or you haven't gotten any leads. And basically what this does is this is called optimization, right? You're optimizing for where you are actually getting leads from on the Facebook platform. All right. So I want I want to, um, to blow this photo up here to kind of show you guys a, a better example. So as you guys can see here, after your ad's been running for a little bit, it's going to look something like this, okay? So you can see here in this campaign, we have um, Facebook Stories. We got one message at $0.68. Cents. 
On the Facebook feed on the mobile app, we got 11 messages at 262 per lead. And then interestingly enough, we got leads from the search results on Facebook at $1.08 per lead. That literally means somebody's going into the search bar of Facebook and typing it in like Google, cash for phones or something similar, okay, which is pretty cool. And that's something that started happening over the past couple of years. So we've started optimizing for it, all right? So once you optimize based on placements after the first seven days, the next thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna figure out I'm going to scroll past this because I just went over all that. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to figure out exactly where you got the leads from. Okay. So how do you do that? So what we're going to do is um, uh, Ken says, so do we keep those few photos or replace the ones? You don't replace anything. You just leave on the, ad, the ones that are working. All right. So um, this part is super important. All right. So this is something that got pointed out to me about a year ago. Um, that made a huge difference in everything. So when you figure out the placements and where people are coming from, what you wanna do is you wanna figure out where, what ads you're closing deals from, okay? So in the way that you do that is you have to go to your ads. So let me go here and there's a video in that document for you guys. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to, let me not use this campaign. Let me use this one. This is an old one. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna go here. Ah. And then these three little dots up here, guys, you're gonna grab the ad ID. And then what you'll do is you'll go back to Meta Business Suite and then you'll paste that ad ID. Let me give you guys the video here. I won't do it on Zoom. But you'll basically go to um, Meta Business Suite where the messages are. And you'll basically paste that ad ID so you can actually sift through the leads and see which ones you're actually getting deals from, which is pretty cool. And then you can, uh, like, for example, once you figure that out, you can put like something like three meetups in the ad. That way, you know, and if you want to, you can add like uh, how many deals you've actually made and things like that. Um, so this, this is a super in-depth and, uh, I'm trying to get through this kind of relatively quick because we're already an hour in. Hour in. <laughs> I told you guys, this stuff was really in-depth. Um, so I'm going to give you guys this document. That way you guys can uh, can utilize it. And I think I dropped, let me, let me make sure I dropped it for you, everybody. So this document goes into all the nitty gritty for you guys. It has Loom videos embedded in. <clears throat> it's going to be the, the new way that I actually um, do stuff in like documents and stuff. All right, here we go. You paste. I know a lot of this might be, uh, especially if you're newer, it could be a little bit over your head and that's okay. I want you guys to know that that is okay. You're only about 20 hours away from knowing how to do it. All right. Um, I want you guys to think in terms of that real quick. So it only takes about 20 hours to become proficient at something, okay? So you're not, you're not, um, you're not that far away from knowing how to do something. Once you once you put in enough hours, once it, like like I said, I've done a lot of the hard work here for you guys. Like this is stuff that I've learned over the past four years of running ads, and it took a long time to learn. And I'm basically just giving it to you guys so that you guys don't make the same mistakes that I did. And just believe everything relies on cost per lead. Because <laughs> that's what I thought in the beginning. Um, Wesley says, I'm getting much more leads now. Did you did you apply all that stuff, Wesley, that, that I sent you the other day? I, I didn't really. I've been so busy. Honestly, I haven't. Uh, I mean, I remember you showing me what you're showing here. I haven't really done much of that. I did look into it and turn off some of the ads which I have to revisit right now. I'm only running seven actually, because I had 10 and there were two that weren't performing. And I looked at that like almost two weeks ago, turned those two off, which I'm going to reactivate them, maybe even go up a little bit, but I've been busy. I mean, I've been just been getting a lot of leads and 
Also, I've been doing like, you know, just like what you said, like when you when I'm conversating with the people, I just ask them, I'm like, okay, well, I can't buy this off of you because you want too much. I mean, I don't tell them that, but you know, but when we can't come to an agreement, I just tell them you got something else. And eventually they end up re referring me to somebody else or just finding some other item. And I just keep getting leads. I also, in, in the ads, I've been doing, I've been putting in the ads cash for phones too. Like when I, when I sell something locally, because yeah. when I get my devices lately, I post it everywhere. I post it. Facebook, offer up, eBay, nice. and see which one, you know, where I could get the most money, wherever I could get the most money or sells fastest, it's better because the direct sales is cool, but they pay a lot less compared to what I can get, you know, For sure. and a lot of times, a, a lot of times they'll look at the ad and they'll ask me because people will look to see how much their device is worth and I'll negotiate. But yeah, I'm learning. It's just, it's a, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like you said, it's a lot. In the beginning, I got a little bit overwhelmed, but you even helped me out with that. When I was like, oh, too much competition. I'm just, just keep going forward. I get up, I do it. You know, I also work, I'm a dad. So I do what I can and I just keep going. Yeah. It's awesome. been going great though. Love that, fantastic. Love it, dude. Okay, guys, so we got a, we got a good amount of time left. So um, what we're gonna jump into now is Google Ads. Um, and I want to jump into Google ads because everybody's asking about it nowadays. Now, Google ads is probably going to be one of the last things that you want to set up, but it is still one of the most important things. Now, I do want to give a little bit of background on Google ads. This took me forever to figure out. No lie. This took thousands of dollars in mentorship and just trial and error um, <laughs> for a ridiculous amount of time. Um, I think, uh, RJ was trying to set him up the other day himself and RJ, do you want to share your experience with, uh, I think, I don't think he's on here. Um, but they, they, they took a long time to learn. All right. So I want you guys to go in with that, knowing that there's two years of experience around on the learning curve here, because there was nobody to replicate. I had nobody to follow. I didn't have a course. I didn't have like, there wasn't a thing for this specifically. All right. So. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I want to show you guys how we set up Google Ads. Okay, the first thing that you need is um, a, uh, a website. So for a website, I actually recommend GoDaddy. Okay, so now I'm going to recommend Resell Deck for this. And if you guys want, everybody that's on here, uh, everybody here can get access to a 14-day trial of Resell Deck. Um, which you'll be able to launch Facebook ads as well from directly. And I'll show you guys how to do things in the easiest way possible at the end. Um, so first thing that you want to do is you need a website. You can go to godaddy.com and get a website for $11. Okay. $11. Don't, don't do any of the upsells. Don't do anything like that. You can get it for 11 bucks. All right. So, and what I recommend using for your domain name is something very simple, cash for phones, um, and then your city. Just keep it super simple for SEO reasons. Um, and then let's just say, I don't know, cash for phones, let's do uh, Webster, right? So that's a place next to me. We're just gonna type that in, cash for phones Webster. Boom, it's available for one cent. That's a lie. <laughs> We're gonna make it mine. All right, so GoDaddy is going to try and upsell you on everything under the sun, so just say no thanks. You don't need a website from GoDaddy because they're garbage. Uh, you're going to go look, it looks good, keep going. You're going to go, no, I don't do any domain protection. I only use this for Google Ads. Go to continue to cart. And then it's going to give you the option to buy. I do it. Uh, so they're going to try and, and sign you up for three years. Just do one year. And then, boom, 11 bucks. I'm sorry, it's $12. <laughs> but there you go. Ready to pay. Buy your domain. Okay? Once you buy your domain, um, you're going to want to download Resell Deck. And this is going to make your life 10 times easier. And here's why. It's because Resell Deck is the backbone of, of years of hard work um, to make this, this business much easier for everybody. All right, so let me uh, go into my account here. So Bellatronics. Actually, I'm gonna use a different account because mine looks a little different. Whoop. 
That's not right. I'm going to use Abraham's account here. <laughs> All right. So Resell Deck is a uh, software that I've been building for about four years now to make things 10 times easier for everybody to start this business. Um, and the beautiful thing is, is it comes with a buyback website already built out. Okay. So and that website looks like this. It's very simple. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Chris, this is too simple. This doesn't make sense. It's, it's wildly simple, right? The reason it's simple is because it makes sense to people. Think about our Facebook ads. Our Facebook ads are so simple that they are easy to understand, right? So this is the website that comes with Resell Deck. It's very simple, very to the point. They literally click a button, fill out a form. Once they fill out the form, it notifies us that we have a Google lead. All right, so you need all you need a website before you set up Google Ads. That is the very first thing. All right, the website is already pre-made for you if you want it in Resell Deck. All right, so <clears throat> once you have the website created and you've connected it to Resell Deck, which you literally just go down here, go to Domains, and you just connect it. Um, it it's very simple uh, here. So and then also everything is down here as well on how to set everything up, all of that good stuff. You just go here, go to add, add in the domain, and Resell Deck basically connects for you. It's very easy, very simple. We've made it to where it's uh, almost dummy proof. We're almost dummy proof. We're still getting there, but we're close. All right, so, and once your website is connected, what you're going to need to do then is you're going to need to go to ads.google.com. All right, so I'm going to type that in the chat here. So let me type in resell deck first. Well, let me type in GoDaddy for everybody in the thing. GoDaddy, reselldeck.com. And then uh, where am I at? Ads.google. There we go. Okay. Now, once you are here, what you need to do is you need to click Start Now. All right, let's press Start Now. And you're going to need to create a Google Ads account. Now, this is a lot simpler than it used to be, just so you guys are aware. Um, but let me, uh, let me get out of here so I can show you guys what you guys are actually going to see. Let me find an account that I haven't used yet. Let's see this one. Ah, okay, let me do this. Create new Google Ads account. There we go. Create new. Hopefully they don't ban me for creating another one. <laughs> All right, first thing they're going to do here, guys, is uh, once you click Start Now, it's going to prompt you with this. It's going to say, create your first campaign in a few steps. Add business information. Create your ad. Set your budget. You want to ignore all of that, all right? See down here where it says not ready to create a campaign? Skip campaign creation. Click that instead, all right? So you click that instead, and then you're literally going to go through uh, all of that setup process that, was, that they were going to do with you, uh, which is annoying. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go straight to billing information, all right? So you, next thing you're going to want to do is add your billing information, get that done, right? Um, you want to press no to the Google Ads expert because they're uh, they're pretty garbage. and They'll tell you the wrong thing to do. All right, let me I'll just add my stuff. Well, I'm not going to give you guys my card information. <laughs> so you put in your billing information, and then what's going to happen is it's going to take you to Google Ads Manager, all right? So I'm just going to go to Google Ads Manager now because that's where it's going to take you guys anyway. All right. So the next thing is that's going to happen is it's going to look similar to this. It might look a little bit different. Let me go to the new design here. Wait, wait it looks a little, there we go. So this is the new design. This is what you guys will see. Um, you're going to want to, if they have any, 
things up here like this. You're just going to want to accept them. I'm going to dismiss it for right now. Um, first thing that you want to do so that you can start getting Google leads is you're going to need to go to goals and go to conversions and then summary. And then what you need to do is you need to add a code to your website. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I got a lot of them, as you guys can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new conversion action. We're going to click website. And we're not going to use that one. We're going to do www. Let me use uh, that website. You're going to go back to resell deck. You're going to grab the website that you imported in because it's already going to be here for you. Oh, my gosh. There's a... Uh, Gonna paste. It is then going to scan your website, and uh, it's not going to see the pixel. So you need to add the pixel. You're going to add submit lead form to the conversion action here. Over here on the URL, you're going to put thank you because that is what the page is. All right, and we want to do it when the page loads. All right. Does anybody feel like they're in a marketing like masterclass right now? It's this is the stuff that's wild, man. <laughs> um, we're going to keep on going. We're going to add that conversion action. So basically, whenever that page loads, it's basically going to communicate back from Resell Deck to Google, letting you know that, um, you know, you're their lead, basically. All right, we're going to save and continue. We're going to add the Google tag to the website. So we're going to go here to set up. See this little code here? You don't need to understand what this code means. You, all you have to do is copy it. Then go back over to Resell Deck. Go here. Go to Edit. And then you're going to go up to this little code, tracking code area. And you're literally going to paste that in there. All right? So you're going to paste that in there on every page. And what I mean by every page is this, this website has uh, three main pages, all right? So it has um, the main page, the device form page, and the thank you page, all right? And then once you do that, um, once this loads, so you're going to want to post paste it on this one, same way, paste it on this one, same way. And if you do decide to do this, um, all of this is actually down here, right here, in here, all right? So I want to get to how to launch a Google Ads, though, like a Google Ad, so that this is uh, made a lot easier. So let's jump in. I'm going to go back. Now, once you have copied and pasted all of that information onto your website, you're good to go at this point. Um, and what you need to do is you're going to go here to create and you're going to create a campaign. This is the fun part. So what we want to do now is we want to create our campaign. Our campaign objective is to get website traffic. All right. And then uh, you guys aren't going to have as many of these as me. Uh, you're only going to have the submit lead forms because that is your conversion action that you chose. So I'm going to remove a lot of these. You guys can see how much I've tested this with all these different uh, conversion actions here. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to press continue. The next thing that we want to choose here is search, okay? So we want to do a search campaign. So whenever somebody types in a keyword that we're looking for, we want that, right? So we're going to use, um, we're going to use my website just to keep things simple. All right, bellelectronicsleakcity.com, phone leads. I like to just put it as phone leads. I'm going to press continue, start new. Okay, so for the first campaign, I never do a target uh, action. I just go next. And then you want to set your location. Very similar to Facebook, make sure you type in your location. So I'm in League City. 
I'm going to target that area. And then we're going to go to advanced search here. All right, so you can do this one of two ways. You can either do a radius or you can actually choose the areas that you want to search. So if you click this button here, show all areas, and zoom out just a little bit, you can literally click the zip codes that you want to target, just like that. Now, this is a preference, right? If you want to do that, great. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, another way you can do it is you can simply go by radius, type in League City. Boom. And there you go. That's how that works. I'm just going to do a radius to keep this simple and save. All right, we're going to scroll down, and we're not going to touch any of these. We're going to go next, and we're going to do keywords. So create myself. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to siphon off some keywords from EcoATM, okay? So EcoATM.com. Replace all keywords with keywords related to URL EcoATM. Yes, replace. I'm going to let it load. Oh, didn't find anything this time. All right. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's do here. Um, I'm just going to use my website then. All right. So a couple of things that I want to put in here, if it doesn't show up with anything, sometimes it won't, just so you guys are aware. I don't know why it just won't. But things you want to do is like sell my phone. My phone, cash, four phones, uh, place that buys phones, sell my phone near me. All right, so those are probably the highest ones. I got VR headset stuff on mine. So we're going to keep this simple, and I'll drop these keywords in the chat for you guys. Chris, I have, I have, I have oh, a quick gosh. question. Um, yeah, because yep. I got distracted, and I had some stuff that I was answering some text. Is that is that in the – that's this that you're doing, this is all in the resell, in resell deck, right, in the course, in the accelerator, right? Yeah. Is yes, that sir. the part where it says – Google My Business and all that stuff? Yeah. Google My Business is a little bit more difficult, but yeah. Okay. So, okay. I just want to know where I could find this so I could just do this and later yeah. on. You can also find uh, you can also find it inside of Resale Deck as well, uh, Wesley. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. Um, next thing we want to do, guys, is add some headlines. All right? So we want to do cat like, things like cash for phones. And then it, they do give you ideas, by the way. So you want to try and get as many of these as possible. And they're going to uh, sometimes give you options so you can just choose them. Boom. There we go. <laughs> sell your device. Sell a device near you. Sell your today for cash. We buy phones. Sell a device today. Sell your used device today. Save. Boom. That made it easy. Next thing I, I do want to add in some eco ATM. So like more than the phone ATM, more than the kiosk, because that's when most of my ads show up is when uh, people are searching for eco ATM. But you can't say eco ATM in the ad. I learned that the hard way, just so you guys are aware. I almost got banned because trademark and all. <laughs> all right, we're going to use that. Sell your device today for cash. That's simple. All right. And then uh, you don't need anything else on top of that. You're going to go next. All right. Now, Google is going to try and get you to spend more money than you need to. Now, I'm going to show you guys a super duper awesome trick. So if you go here, it's going to say, we recommend you spend $21.72. If you go down here and set a custom budget, and you change that to $5, watch what happens to the cost and conversion. Oh, 
it went down. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why that happens, but um, that is what happens. So if like, for example, I'm gonna show you guys again. If you put it at 21, your cost per lead is gonna be 310. But if you set a custom budget at $5, it brings your cost per lead down by half. Why? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's because whenever you give Facebook and Google money, they like to spend it really fast. I don't know why, they just do. I would say it's not the greatest customer service. All right, and then um, once you got all that set up, whoops, checking for errors. All right, and then we are good to go. And we're gonna publish the campaign. And that's how you start a Google ad. There's a lot of stuff you need in place before that. Like I said, website, uh, resale deck definitely helps. Um, so if you didn't have your resale deck, you probably need another website provider, um, then another way to get you notified, probably an email thing. Um, so yeah, there you go. So that is Google ads. I know that there's a lot that goes into that. Um, so you're going to might have to watch this more than once. Um, so yeah. All right. So one thing I do want to go over with you guys, uh, we got about 30 ish minutes left is I want to go over resale deck and how it makes everything a lot easier for you, um, to get started. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to launch Facebook ads in literally no time. Um, so let's jump into that. Um, and, and close out this marketing masterclass. That way um, I can answer any questions that you guys have at the end. Uh, so let me share my screen. So let's pop into Resell Deck here. So Resell Deck is my baby. Um, been building this thing for a long time. Uh, first thing that I want to show you guys how to do is launch Facebook ads from Resell Deck. Who here has launched Facebook ads from Resell Deck? Let me know. Wesley has. Who else has? Oh, Ozzy, I know you have. Um, let me go here to launch ads. This is probably one of the greatest benefits of Resell Deck is it makes it so easy to launch ads. So the ads that I showed you guys how to do earlier um, took us probably um, – Probably about 20 minutes, actually. 20 minutes to do. So I'm going to show you guys now how to do this insanely easy. Um, so if you go here to launch new campaign, click Facebook. We don't have it integrated with Google just yet. Um, and you go to phone ads. You can see here we have templates already built out to be able to launch ads. So you can go here to, and select one of these templates. All you have to do now is fill out your information. So if you go here to lead form, you're going to want to go down to messenger engagement, just like we did. We're going to put down $5. You're going to throw in a random website. I'm just going to throw in mine. And most people mess this up, so don't do it. They press launch campaign. You don't want to do that. You want to go here to optional info. And you're going to want to go to location, put in your city. So we're going to do league city. And then the next thing that you want to do is choose it. And then you're going to add some photos. So you're going to go to template media. And we already have preloaded photos for you. So they're already in there. All right. And then you can go here as well. If you want to change the ad text, feel free to do so. Okay. The next thing you got to do is simply press launch campaign. Now, that cuts the ad launching down by 15 to 20 minutes. That took less than a minute to do. So if you want to launch your ads quickly and easily and efficiently, you can do that. There's also a video right here that shows you how to do it along with direct instructions on how to do it as well. So um, that's something I recommend. It's not needed. You can still do it from uh, Ads Manager if you would like. Uh, but this does make it 10 times easier to do. Um, and since you're on this, you get a 14-day trial of Resell Deck. 
if you're not already on it. Um, Ken says, you can do custom ad photos, right? Yeah, you can upload photos if you want to, bro. Yeah, no problem there. It gives you the option to do that. All right, so no, cool. some other cool things about Resell Deck um, is you can reply to conversations from anywhere uh, here. So we also have our negotiation templates built directly into the platform. Uh, that way you can use them on, um, you know, negotiating your leads. We got opportunities built in where you can, uh, what is this? What's going on here? Oh, that's why. So you can organize your leads based on, um, you know, names and whatever they're trying to sell you. We got automations already built in. We got some AI automations coming out soon too, which is going to be pretty cool. Hoping to get it to be able to read a message and see if they need to be followed up with. Um, and we got all sorts of tools built in. So resell deck is, uh, it definitely makes the game a lot easier. Um, if that is something that you want, I will be talking a little bit about it later. Um, and last part that I want to talk about here, we made Facebook ads easier. How do we make reach outs easier? So if you get resale deck, you also get access to resale Hawk during that trial. So for, I'm gonna start off with resale Hawk messenger. So if you go down here and click resale Hawk messenger, it's gonna open up a messenger for you. And then you'll be able to choose what device you uh, wanna be notified for. So right here, as you guys can see, it notifies me. Now it is on a timed notification. It, it is. It can't actually read marketplace because Facebook doesn't like that. Um, but what you can do is uh, set it to a certain amount of time. Uh, I think it's 30 minutes, an hour, and like six hours. And then you can click for like the marketplace alert. And then it'll pull up all of the devices that are labeled like that. So right here, this is all the iPhone 13s in my local area. All right. So this makes the reach out 10 times easier. So make your reach outs easy. <laughs> that way you can do them rapid fire like I showed you guys earlier. All right. Um, and yeah. And then on top of that, we got Dante. We got so much stuff in resale deck. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I don't even know if I can go over it all right now. Um, it's basically your reselling business built uh, in one platform which was kind of my goal. So I'm going to stop there because we don't got a ton of time left. Um, you guys can check out resell deck on the website if you want to um, and, and read all the benefits. Um, you do get a 14 day trial on the five day challenge. Um, if you're already on it, then you're already on it. Then you've already been through it. <laughs> all right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and for everybody on the uh on the zoom feel free to unmute if you have any questions we'll do one at a time and uh we'll wrap this up around uh 5 because i gotta take my kiddo to gymnastics so go ahead hey, Chris, what's up hey, Kojo? Chris, uh, quick question regarding yeah. um the uh launching ads via resort deck yeah uh, facebook ads specifically so um can you do the split testing via you know the resell deck or do you have to i guess create one ad and then uh you know do the copying and um, changing the images so resell deck removes the uh the need to do all of that copying altogether like it totally gets rid of it does that make sense okay. yeah so every everything we did in the beginning right i just did the same thing with resell deck in like a minute uh -huh. That that that's the biggest benefit is it saves you like a tremendous amount of time. So you could ideally go in there and launch four campaigns in the same amount of time that it's you know in about four. It would take you forty five minutes probably to launch campaigns the first way that I showed, you, right? right? Whereas with resale deck you could probably do it in like five. Okay. So but it, it's set up to do the exact same process that I showed you guys in the beginning. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so I guess uh, with the budget, you can probably do a dollar for each campaign that you launch, right? I mean, if you want to do like split testing. Correct. Uh, I'm just yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and for you, I know you're totally in the game consoles. We got console yeah. ads in here, and we're going to be adding a lot more sooner, soon as well. Um, 
like more VR. Like we got VR system ads in there. We got, there's all sorts of stuff, dude. <laughs> there are so many ads in that thing at this point. It's ridiculous. Awesome, awesome. Thank Jacob, you. Such a huge opportunity. So excited to get started. Happy to hear it, Jacob. Jacob, what'd you learn, dude? Oh, Wesley, did you have a question? Yeah, yeah. Just, um, just I wanted to ask you because the other day I heard, I saw somebody in, in the accelerator group talking about a chatbot. <laughs> Does that get set up yeah. with, uh, with the Google ad or how, how is, like, I haven't even gotten there yeah. honestly so, i know all that information is there like you said there's so much stuff that i'm just rolling with what i got right now and it's kind of like a lot but yeah yeah dude, i'm you know and you know I, I i try not to like i'm very systems oriented right um so i tend to throw a lot of people of things at people at once um because you know everything that i try to do i try to simplify it however i know aaron was talking about the chat bot I subtly mentioned that to him the other day, and it has gone on to make him a ridiculous amount of money. Um, so if you actually go over here to the launch pad, uh, after you have your website, it's actually right here. You can generate leads from your website. All you have to do is connect it to your website, and that's it. Um, there's a little code that you'll have to put on your website, but it's just another way for your, um, for your website to generate leads. So uh, I actually... I know. Uh, yeah. And, and just, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And the other thing was, so to set up the, what you did earlier, it's best just, I could just go over this video. You're going to have it on the site, right? That's probably the yeah. best way, right? Yeah, of course. For the Google ads. So, yeah. 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 Yep. So right here. Yeah. Like Aaron's got like, this is uh this is from the chat bot, this message right here. Um, this one's from the chat bot. So he, so that, it helps when you have a lot of people visiting your site, Google ads, right? So if you have Google ads happening. So Google ads this, first. Yeah. You want to have so Google, Google ads, ads first and then chat bot. And yeah, will they go website, to, the, to the app on the phone? Yep. It'll go to lead connector. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So if Great. the thing is like, if you don't have any, any like people viewing your website, you won't get any leads. Right. That, that's really the game there. Yeah. Um, so once you have Google ads up, I mean, you can add the chat bot first if you want. I just won't, obviously. The no, chat it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'll chat just set it up doesn't... like maybe, yeah. Thank you. That leave, one thing leads to another. I got it. <laughs> of course, yeah. And that's another video I got to make now because I didn't realize how impactful that was going to be on. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all want them leads. So that's more leads and more money. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Anybody else have any questions on anything? Was this pretty thorough? Do you guys think um, you guys can hit 150 lead, like total conversations this week based on everything I gave you today? If you don't, I'm going to be really surprised. Be real. You guys should be able to do that on reach outs alone. Let's see here. I got questions in the group while I wait for you guys on the chat. Whoops. All right, you guys are. Um. Okay. One. One more question. Um. Go for it, Wesley. Chris. So. So like. Yeah. Because I. I told you I struggle with the whole. Like the logistics, I see you're really good at that. I struggle with that. I just, I just get up, I start, I start reaching out, I start, you know, answering leads, and I do that like all throughout my day at work, anywhere I'm at, with the wife in the supermarket, kids, and so it's kind of hard for me to track it. What is the best way to track it? Like, so maybe I could just put it in at the end of the night, or, or would it be somewhere in in resell deck, or maybe with the leads connector? I'm not like, well, how do you do it? What what would be your tip? to tracking those numbers because I suck at tracking stuff. I've, I've owned businesses. I've never been very good with logistics. I just get it up. I do it. I, I can put in the work, but it's hard for me to, to, for, so, to track. So whenever I was learning how to track things, I had to want, so I like, I like to use the term split testing, right? Um, split testing is kind of how I uh, uh, kind of verify whether or not something works. So I, I like to talk about things in terms of advertising, right? Um, uh, so 
I recommend doing it in the morning. Like once you're clear headed, because I've tried doing all of my numbers at night and dude, I am worn out. Like I'm done. Like the day is done. Like, I don't know if you guys are like that, but like at the end of the day, I am freaking toast because of how much I do on a daily basis. And I'm sure Wesley, you're the same way, dude. Like you're hard yeah, working. Yeah. I'm almost done now. And I, I still got a bunch yeah. of stuff to do. <laughs> and I'm yeah, almost- like, dude, I'm falling asleep at the end of the day. Cause I'm so tired. So I don't have time to do numbers at that point. So the way that I found to do it was upon waking up is that that's when I put the numbers. In. Um, and that, that's just something that works for me personally. Well, but where do you, where do you get them from? From like lead connector or how, how yeah. do you like add them up? Oh, okay. So yeah. So for Facebook ads, you can just go to Facebook ads, like the ads manager yeah. and it'll show you how many conversations started on Google ads. You get, you just read the conversions and that'll show you how many conversions you got. You can also go to resell deck if you want to and literally just count them if you want. I personally like to read it from ad, uh, the ads manager for Google ads and Facebook ads. It makes my life a lot easier. Now on, on reach outs, you yeah. just have to, like, you just have to count, you know, like, yeah, I, yeah. I think, yeah, I'm thinking about just like putting up, I did that the other day and I got lost like so quick, but yeah. it's because I wasn't doing the, I, w- I was actually answering, which I just learned that here. Now I'm just going to fire them all yeah. and not answer anything because I Dude. started sending them out. And by the time I was like on number five, I started getting people hitting me back and yeah. like, entry here. And then, uh-huh. and then I'm sending another reach out. I'm like, how am I going to, how, how am I going to track this? I'm never going to track that. Yeah. So the best way would be to probably just like shoot them all out. All right. And then I got them here. I could write them down. Okay. I did 20, did my 20 and then just start answering. That makes sense. Perfect. Yeah. Did I call it, I just call it shotgunning the messages as fast as possible Yeah. because they're going to start messaging you back quick and then you're going to get distracted and then you're not going to hit your numbers. Like that was what was yeah. happening to me in the beginning. <laughs> Um, was I was just, so I had to like like focus it back in and I was like I'm just going to I'm going to do this part first and then I'm going to message all of these people back and read the descriptions and stuff like that I don't care like I'll, I'll gloss over the description really fast send a message gloss message gloss message like boom 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 right and if you do it that way you get less burnt out because now you you move from one task to another right because sending messages Let's be real. We are, t- a lot of us in the beginning are scared that we're going to get told to like, fuck off, you know, like, but if you don't even look, that won't happen. You'll just, and it might happen, but you're, you're a lot of, it's analysis paralysis or paralysis by analysis. Yeah, yeah. You think I, about I, it too I, much, I so you that. don't end up doing anything. But, but lately I'm not even as, as scared. Like, I mean, I try and be nice. I try and be professional. They're like, oh, yeah, fuck you. You know, I can do this. I'm like, all right, well, if you have any other devices, you can always hit me up. And my office is still there for seven days. Sorry, yeah. man. I'm sorry we couldn't do business. I want your business. Either way, just don't worry. You can hit me back if you want. All right, yeah, screw you. Okay, bye. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's how so, I'm doing. Just get, just get used to being told to F off. Like, as long, if you can get used to that, you'll go really, really far in life. Yeah, it oh. doesn't really bother me that much at this point. Trust me. And I work in the restaurant industry. I work with people, so it no. doesn't happen as often in person because I'm 260 and I'm <laughs> kind of big. But it, every now and then I get told something. And I'm like, okay, sir, well, thank you very much. Anything else I can get you, you know, whatever. Perfect. All right. Does anybody else on the Zoom have any questions? Damn, we have 64 comments on the live stream. Jeez. All right. But, uh, yeah, so, guys, this will be up all week. Um, Recelerator, you guys, they'll have access to this forever. Um, <clears throat> so um, this has been, like, the – my mouth is dry. There's a lot of, a lot that was gone over in this. Um, so, my, yeah, Ozzy, love you, dude. Um Lots of stuff. Can you post a script for Kayla's outbound offer method? Uh, Ozzy, Kayla's coming in next week on, on the Recelerator class, I believe, uh, to to have another class, so you're aware. Um, all right, cool. Um, Jacob says, I believe I can close some deals this week. Heck yeah, that's what I want to see, dude. Love that. Fantastic. Cool. All right, guys. Well, this has been day one. Um, I know it was a lot. Um and when I mean a lot, I'm sure you guys can see it was a lot. 
Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, I will see you guys n tomorrow, same time. Um, tomorrow, guys, is going to be Matt Shirley's Game Console Mastery Class. And um, if you guys know um, Matt, you guys are going to be in for one hell of a class. Uh, Matt is the console king. So um, look forward to having a, an amazing class uh, that you're going to learn a ton of stuff from. Not only did you guys learn how to do like a rapid fire reach out today, tomorrow you guys are going to learn how to also do it with more than just iPhones and phones in general. You guys are going to learn how to do it with like Oculus Quest um, and all sorts of other devices that are literally, you know, <laughs> You, you wouldn't have even thought of, personally. Um, and we've, we've seen many people make a ton of money thanks to Matt's teachings, and I'm so happy to have him on the team. So um, with that being said, guys, this is going to conclude day one of the five-day challenge. Um, and I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Let me know in the comments, in the chats, and all of that. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you guys later.